I appreciate you joining me again at Crafting with Confidence. Today we're going to make another three yard quilt. The pattern I'll be using is called Town Square. You can easily find this pattern at thefabriccafe.com or you can purchase Donna Robertson's book called Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilts. Here are a few three yard quilts I've made in the past that you may enjoy watching the videos for as well. There's no end to the color combinations you could create. What I like about this particular pattern is that with the big squares in the middle, I could put a feature fabric, which I'll show you in a minute. Check out these three beautiful nature fabrics. I just can't wait to see how they come together. And for these wildlife squares, I'll probably do some fussy cutting, so maybe I'll need a little more than one yard. You know what else I'm excited about? These fabrics are all flannel, so they're super soft. They also stick to my new portable design wall really well. I'm happy with how the 12 main squares turned out, with some bears, some elk, a moose, wolf, an eagle. Just the effect I was hoping for. Next, I sewed together some wide width of fabric strips with the other two fabrics and then some medium width strips. I pressed them all towards a darker color and then did some cutting according to the town square pattern. Um, it actually goes a teeny bit slower in real life. In the end, there were 24 sets of each width. On the design wall, you can see how I'll arrange each block. First, sew the shorter strips to the top and bottom, and then the longer strips to the sides, which will end up looking like this. And then repeat that process 11 more times until the 12 blocks are all completed. Sewing these 12 together won't take too long, just be sure to take your time to light up the seams nicely and to trim some edges if necessary. I really like how this is going so far. If you do too, don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel. I'll bet you can also see how it would be very simple to make this into a bigger quilt by just adding more blocks. To finish off the quilt top, I'll sew on a narrow light colored border and then a feature fabric border to tie everything together. And here it is, the completed town square quilt top, highlighting some beautiful wildlife scenes on the feature squares. I trust you're feeling confident enough to tackle one of these fun three yard quilts. For more three yard quilt directions, try clicking on one of these projects. You can definitely do it.